What's up, guys? Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV, and today I am joined by... C-Love. <laughs> Colton. C-Love. That's right. Colton Love. Guys, uh, we are excited because we are at Stony Lonesome Off-Road Park, but we are in two very specific and very different Broncos. And in today's video, I want to show you what the difference of a what, what an actual base model bronco can actually do that is the goal by the way if you didn't know this is the bronco that we are giving away to you guys and uh we wanted to kind of film like a documentary or a series that shows you know what can just a little bit of tc customs work do as far as off-road ability so uh we are going to do that now i will tell you as far as the giveaway we're going to launch the giveaway giving this vehicle away to you guys. We're gonna launch that the day that we hit 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. So stop what you're doing right now. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and then now that you've got that out of the way, we can go ahead and continue on with the video. So in this video, um, we're just gonna push it until it gets stuck. Does that sound, sound good to you? That sounds great. Let's get this thing stuck. Okay, so which, uh, I, I guess since I'm gonna be driving mine, you're gonna drive this one, right? I thought we were swapping. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> He's not driving my Bronco. <laughs> so I, I do have to ask, um, I've talked a little bit about my driving history and record. What is your experience with off-roading? I mean, I don't have a ton. I've had a few off-road vehicles, and we've done some off-roading stuff. This will be my first time to actually go to an off-roading park, but uh, me and the man behind the camera, Josh, they used to do a lot of off-roading back back in the woods where we weren't supposed to, that's for sure. <laughs> that's about my experience, too. I've done plenty of off-roading. This is probably the first time I've done it legally. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the trails and see what is going on. But I'll tell you before we do that, let's go ahead and air down the tires. What was his problem? First try. <laughs> All right, so you can see he's still going up this very first trail. And you can kind of see how hard it's struggling a little bit with the rock face and also with this. There's a couple of different factors there. One, the base model without Sasquatch does not come with any lockers front and rear. Now, the cool part is all Broncos come standard with four-wheel drive, so that's good news. Um, I think that's fantastic. But he's going to have to give a little more gas. <laughs> All right, so come on, make it, make it, Colton. And yeah, he's gonna have to give it a little bit more gas. So there's a couple things that are going on there as well. So open differentials, but also the tread that's on the tires. Yes, we've aired down to 20 PSI on all tires for both vehicles. The, the tread actually makes a big, big difference as well. So let's go ahead and assume that he makes it up this hill and let's take a look and see what the Badlands lifted on 37s does. All right, so I can make it up this. The only thing is, I'm gonna have to carry some speed because I'm framing out right there at the top. So I'm gonna have to carry that momentum so that when it hits and kind of grabs, it keeps pushing through. So it is actually high centered a little bit up there. Yeah, for sure. Okay. 100%. Okay. All right, because I, I wasn't inside it because I, I couldn't actually hear it. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want you to rip anything out from underneath it, but I mean, I think maybe a little bit more speed. Let's uh, see what it can do. All right. Dang, he's high centered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is straight up high centered. That's what lifts are for. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, that's, that's what Josh, I don't know if y'all heard that, but Josh said that's what lifts are for. <laughs> Uh, so this is my fantastic view of the front end of the vehicle. Uh, so the problem, okay, so check this out. It is really cool because you have a tire view. I can see where to place my tires when I'm driving, so that's pretty cool. But the problem is you put it in reverse and then you have to back up because that one is 
can't go anywhere. And then you put it back in drive and it defaults back to this screen. How forward for, uh, this is just a simple software update. Can you please make it, if you put it in this mode and you back up, put it back in that mode automatically until I change it. So I know Ford, a lot of you guys watch our videos, so yeah. By the way, I don't think we've introduced our newest person, Emily. She, <laughs> she's, I guess I she doesn't. Expecting that. Yeah, I know she was not expecting that. So she is our social media director. Uh, she is the person that's always behind the scenes on Instagram and Alabama Ford on, on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So YouTube, say hello to uh, Emily. Spam them comments for her. But uh, oh yeah, by the way, you guys haven't seen my son either. This is Steven. Hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> so guys um yeah this is this is pretty cool all right so we are at a point where we asked colton to pull over so that way i could pass and the main reason is is because i'm having a feeling i'm gonna have to continue to pull you up all of these hills you might have to <laughs> that's for sure but this is pretty interesting guys you literally have the least capable bronco up against the most capable bronco and i want to show you look at the sidewall in the mud on this sidewall and you can kind of see what he's having to go through just to get up some of these hills uh and, and what's funny is this is the medium trail so uh and then when you compare that to the sidewall of this one yeah it's a little different and there's a reason for that um one mud terrains are not slipping at all i've got lockers front and rear that if i need to turn on the front locker i can don't have to or haven't been on every single time but uh this is open differentials it is front and rear front and rear so yep. Yeah, um, <laughs> I will tell you, it is actually pretty funny watching oh, this. Oh, yeah, struggling. From... <laughs> so, all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and pass you. Uh, we've got some recovery gear, so that way if we need to, we can just drag you all the way back. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> so a quick update. We actually had to turn around. Uh, the Bronco mine, the Badlands, was going first. We went down a steep hill, and then we realized we might have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew on this particular trail. So what we've done is we're turning around. This is on the medium trail. Now, this one probably could have made it through. It would have been a little bit dicey, but I think it absolutely could have made it. The problem is, is that the base model, there's no chance in you know what that it was actually going to make it. So there's no reason to even try it because this video is not really about what the Badlands it can, it can do. It's really about what that base model can do. Okay, so for a little bit of context, we turned around, as I just mentioned to you, and we're heading down the same place we just got up not long ago because we realized we're on too difficult. The medium trail is too difficult for us. Colton, how do you get stuck going down a hill? <laughs> he said what had happened was. So um, he's high centered right now. I'm gonna see if I can fix that with just some some manpower. Not horsepower, manpower. Let's see what we can do. Get it out of reverse. You trying to run my butt over? <laughs> oh my gosh. Just call me the incredible hog, baby. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually kind of shocked right now that the base model made it through the mud hole as easily as it did. Based on those trail, Colton, is that your driving skills? Yeah, it's gotta be my driving skills. It's not. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, well, we got one that's even bigger. How froggy are you feeling? All right, so I do have to say that as we've backed up and gone on a different route, we've looked for a little bit more mud holes, and I'm actually shocked at how well the base model's doing in the, uh, the different mud holes and things like that. So yeah, it, really ground clearance seems to be the biggest issue uh, on those trails getting high centered. So yeah, he, Colton probably can't hear me because he's got the windows up, but actually not bad, not bad. So I'm, I'm actually shocked how well this thing's doing in the mud holes. It's the driver. <laughs> He's so full of it. <laughs> I'm really good at putting in full wheel drive and letting it just crawl through. <laughs> so yeah, I think with a little bit more ground clearance, this thing would have a lot easier of a time, but I'm oh, actually yeah. really, really surprised with some of these mud holes. All right, let's continue on the trail. All right, so the next mud hole, I, I'm pretty sure my Bronco's not gonna have a hard time, but I'm six foot three, guys, and look, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big drop off. So it's gonna be interesting to see the difference between a lifted bad lens on 37s and then this base model. So let's get it. Whoa, son. Okay. <laughs> Steve. All right. 
I, I don't really like just, just hang out in this position. That initial drop off. So we are starting to run out of daylight and we kind of already know what's going on with the base model as far as its limitations on a trail. I will tell you though, since we're running out of time, it's time to go ahead and get it stuck. And I think this, uh, this little mud hole will actually do the trick. So as the camera turns around, you're gonna see a pretty steep little incline right here, a drop off. We're gonna have the base model pull down that to see if it can actually make it down that spot. It's probably gonna get high centered. It's probably gonna get stuck, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull through it so that way I can yank him back out just in case I have to. Do it the old school way. Ooh, that stabilizer bar. Boom! Okay, so I know that may not look like much on camera because it never really does come through. That'll make you pucker up a little bit. <laughs> so Colton's tapped out. He doesn't want to drive the base model through that hole, but Josh, the cameraman, says he wants to give it a shot. Josh, are you sure? Give us a nod, yes or no? <laughs> okay, all right, let's do it. Oh yeah, he's spinning. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I think he can make it down it now. I think he can too, but he's not gonna be able to get him back up. I'll admit when I've been out driven. Straighten. There you go. So as you can see, the base model has met its match when it comes to the mud. Uh, it's that steep cliff, the flexing out of the vehicle, and as you can see, that rear tire is completely off of the ground. And the problem with having a vehicle without lockers is that all the power goes to the tire that has the least amount of traction. That is the benefit of lockers, is it locks those two rear tires together at the same speed to make sure no matter what, you've got traction. Rear lockers would probably help us out of this situation. Since we don't have that as an option on the base model, we're gonna hook up the toe strap to it and see if we can gently ease him out. All right, so a little bit of change of plans. I, we're probably gonna need the Yankum ropes to actually pull us out of the situation, uh, but just for giggles and grins, I wanna see if these Max Trax traction boards will actually help us out of this situation. I don't think it'll actually get us out, but it's worth a shot. I'm trying to get it lodged in there. All right, say goodbye to the Max Trax. <laughs> I might not be able to find them after this. All right, so we've got the Max Trax boards down. I don't think it's actually gonna get us out of the situation. I think it'll help, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Josh, what you got? Turn this way a little bit. Yep. All right, so you can hear that. That is definitely giving us more traction, but not enough because of the severe offset of you know, the flexing of the vehicle. So like I had suspected, I'm gonna back it up, get the boards back out. We're gonna hook up the rope and uh, gently pull him out of the situation. 
All right, so as you can see, I've got our Yankum products, not a sponsored video, but uh, this is what I bought and seems to be really good quality. First time I've used them specifically. And uh, so let's go ahead and hook up the soft shackle to the front tow hook, and then we'll connect that to the actual tow strap as well. Now, one nice thing about the Bronco is that even the base model has got tow hooks in the front and the rear to help you out of a sticky situation, pun intended. All right. I think that's got us. Now we're gonna connect the other side to my Bronco and we'll go from there. All right, for the other side on my Bronco, I've got a hard shackle. Now what's really cool is we've actually got a video that we did at the Bronco Super Celebration in Colorado with the actual experts from the Bronco Off-Rodeo. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you click up in the cards to go see that. But what's so cool about these is you've got a hard shackle, soft shackle, there's positives, pros and cons for each one of them. But I wanna make sure that I don't pull him directly into the tree and cause damage to the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the toe strap on this side and feed this through on the D-ring. Now, what they had mentioned in that video that we talked about with the Bronco off rodeo is you pull it tight and then you wanna back it off one full turn to make sure that once that thing's under load, you don't run into situations where you can't get this off. That would be terrible. So once again, you wanna make sure that it's completely tight and then you want to back it off one full turn. So that way you don't have to have a tool to get that thing off later on down life's highway. The other thing that I also wanna make sure that we mention to you guys, anytime you run a situation like this, it's always a good idea to lay something with some weight on top of the cable or on top of the toe strap. Uh, I say toe strap, but you know what I'm saying. It's not an actual toe strap, it's a recovery strap. The reason you wanna lay something with some weight on there is if it does snap, hopefully this will help basically drop everything down instead of coming straight towards the other people. Now, the other thing is, is since we've got other people that are on this trail that are watching us, i.e. the cameraman and then Colton and everybody like that, we need to make sure that those people get far away enough from the vehicle so that way we can recover this vehicle properly just in case something were to fail, you're not gonna run into any issues or bodily harm. So that concludes the day. I do have to ask you, I've got my personal opinions. I'm gonna cover that in a second, but Colton, how do you think it fared? Uh, I think the base Bronco fared very well, but I am very impressed with this Badlands. <laughs> well, we're not here for the Badlands That's today. <laughs> we are here for the, the base model. And that kind of sums up my, I'm actually surprised that the base model did as good as it did. Um, you kind of expect some things like the high centering that you saw, you expect, you know, that, that steep incline. I expected stuff like that. Um, you're right. That, that did good. This, the Badlands scares me a little bit because <laughs> it is way more capable than I am. Yeah, yeah I understand If that, that makes sense. That, so the, the crazy thing is, is that you can buy a, a base model for, you know, what, 24, 20, 28,000. I can't remember, so I'll put it right there on the screen. But for in the twenties, you can just about buy a four wheel drive vehicle with just an inexpensive lift kit, wheels and tires. I can't wait to see the follow-up video for this because we've got that coming very, very soon. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Colton, I appreciate you uh, being in the video. I had a lot of fun. It's not a bad day at the office. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it today. <laughs> well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, we've already talked about it, but make sure you subscribe to the channel with that bell notification turned on because the day we hit 300,000 subscribers on YouTube is the day we're going to launch the giveaway for that Bronco. And uh, as I've already mentioned to you, the very next follow-up video, we're going to lift it wheels and tires and then take it right back to the same place that you saw today and that way we can kind of compare and contrast what it does before and after a lift kit because quite frankly i think it'll actually do a lot better yeah it's going to do great absolutely so guys if you want some more information uh you want to actually talk to colton uh or nathan or at our tc customs department uh call that phone number right there on the screen 205-491-0010 uh if you want to quote on lift kits wheels tires even superchargers now for the 2021 f-150 yes sir got a lot of different stuff for you guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked this type of a content it's very different than what we normally do 
the best way you can let us know is smash that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way in tricking the algorithm on YouTube and on Facebook to promote this content to other people. And then guess what? We'll continue to make more and more of that stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.